Good afternoon. All right, Sunday afternoon, and yesterday we had our forklift breakdown. Yesterday morning, Dad already fixed it. Uh, earlier today, I was doing some stuff at home, but I'll show you guys what broke on the forklift, so you're not wondering what uh, what it is. Right there. So this piece right here, Dad's reinforced it, but we've had issues with it. That holds the hydraulic cylinder, which turns the back wheel on this forklift. So he it looks like he's reinforced it, painted it, got it all ready to go again. But I figured I'd show you guys just what it is, because it's easy enough to say, oh yeah, forklift broke, but not actually show you what happened, right? Another day of high 30 degree temperatures. Oh, it's hot. Hey, Eli, that's too hot. You get to sit in the air conditioning. I don't think I mentioned in any of the previous videos, but Eli's eye has healed up. His eye, he had a, what is it called? A corneal ulcer on his eye. So that seems like it's pretty much healed up. He couldn't hold it open. And we had to put drops in for like the last couple of weeks. Every eight hours he needed drops. So thankfully he's all good now. He's holding both his eyes fully open. So that's why he has, oh yeah, that's why he had the set of goggles I bought him. So his shades, his rec specs. So that's why he has those. back out on the farm again this morning I got my watering done before we harvested and now I realized I fell behind where I was mulching on keeping that area disked because now it's all the weeds in the grass are almost waist tall so I'm gonna take the the disker and the big four-wheel drive and see if I can knock some of that stuff down just to keep everything under control. I also, I noticed that this had fallen off of this beam. So I'm gonna get that sorted out while the tractor's fueling up. My big tank is almost out of fuel as well. I'm gonna have to order some fuel because it's just barely trickling into the tank. So it'll be a while and it's running pretty low. But I'll get this fixed up here because this whole beam here is only held on with this one big bolt and nut here. And I noticed the other day when I set it down, it, uh, it moves up and down. So I don't want all that just relying on that because if that shears off, that's gonna cause some problems. <laughs>
and just keep doing that every once in a while just to keep it uh, keep it under control and the more we work it the more it'll cut any roots left in there and eventually we'll have a nice uh, nice 100 acre piece for sod. So just as I thought uh, it's pretty tall it's not cutting really good but it's gonna knock it down we'll have to go over it a few times basically this will just knock it down there. 